here for Hero Arts and today we're making this really fun acetate circle card. We're going to be using background stamps to create this whole card. We're using the Snow Dots background, this really awesome Be Jolly background. I think this is one of my favorites. And then this Happy background, but we're actually going to be using it just for the letters for the card. For this card, I use three different size circle dies, but you could also use circle punches or even an electronic die cutter. I use my largest die to create an acetate circle and I cut two of those and I used my large and medium dies to create the frame and I'll need four of those and then my smallest circle to create four of those circles too. I have two strips here, they're one inch by five and a half inches and my acetate circle in this card was three and three quarter inches wide, my smaller circle was two and three quarter inches wide and my frame was created with the three and three quarter inch die with the three and one quarter inch die to create a little frame, but really any size will work. So I've got my Be Jolly background and my acetate circle, and I'm gonna be using some Stazon metallic silver ink. The reason I'm using Stazon is, is acetate is like transparency and it's very slick. So Stazon is almost like the way a Sharpie is where it's not gonna smear on there. So I'm inking it up really well and then I'm just laying that acetate directly on the stamp. I find that this way I tend to smear it less. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of white card soccer, just scratch paper, and just kind of put my pressure over the stamp this way. That way I really get even pressure and I don't smear all of the work that I've done. I'm just going to carefully pick it up and you'll see how beautiful this is. It's so sparkly and shiny and just perfect for the holidays. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna put it aside to dry and start stamping with our happy stamp here. And we're going to stamp the Mary in it with some punch chalk ink. I love this punch chalk ink because it's really vibrant and I feel like it has that perfect red for the holidays. So right now I'm just taking the paper directly to the stamp. I really like doing that with background stamps. I think it's the easiest way to use them. And we've got this fun Mary all done. So now we're now that our stays on is all dry, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our whole card. I'm gonna use some Versamark ink on this snow dots background just to give a little bit of texture and a tone on tone look onto my little red ring pieces. It's just something really subtle, but I think it looks really nice and just adds a little bit of something to the card. Now we're gonna go ahead and start adhering these together. I'm just using some liquid glue, and what I like to do is kind of put it all around the ring and then smear it around because I don't want that extra gloppy glue all over my pretty clear acetate card. So I smear it out first so that it won't kind of smush all through when I put them together. Once you adhere it, you can see that on the back it looks, you know, you're gonna see right there, it looks a little bit ugly. So um, that's why I've created the second frame so that I can go ahead and cover that up and you have to do that with acetate cards. Since they're see-through, you always have to kind of think about how, I'm gonna, how am I gonna cover up my adhesive? And I think that's kind of the fun puzzle part of making a card like this. So here are my little green strips and we're gonna add that snowdrops background just like we did with the uh, red circles. And once again, it's just to add a little bit of something extra and special to the card. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. So I'm gonna use some liquid glue to adhere them together so that it's, I have a little bit of extra play time to make sure they line up perfectly since we wanna make sure that none of that white on the inside is showing. So I line them up and now we're gonna go ahead and create the little flagged ends for this. And this is my little trick to create banner ends. I cut a slit right in the middle, however long I want it to be, and then I connect the end point with the top of the slit with my scissors. And this creates a perfect banner every time, and you don't have to get out any extra tools, just your scissors and paper. Really, really easy to do. And then you just repeat it on the other side. Just cut that slit down the middle, and then connect the little end there with the top of the slit to create the banner ends. And I just think adding banners like this gives a little bit of something extra. I guess I keep saying that, something extra, but I think it just gives that special kind of holiday special sparkle to a card. So now we're ready to start placing our Mary letters on this card. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of place them out exactly where I want them and move them around to the perfect place and then I can adhere them down. So I'm adhering the letters down with liquid glue. I love the little extra wiggle room time that liquid glue gives me where I can kind of move the letters around to the perfect place before it completely dries. So now we're going to start assembling the inside part of the card and we need to have a place to write our message. So that's why I have this little uh, smaller circle card stocks and I think it really makes that cool silver background really pop with that beautiful pool color behind it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. And of course, I have to have two so I can cover up all my ugly adhesive. That's always the trick to the acetate card. So right now I'm scoring the back part here at about one inch from the top, one inch, three quarters of an inch, whatever works for the size of your card. And this is so we can create the fold for the circle card. So we're just going to bend it over and later on we're going to add adhesive to that top part. So now we need to adhere our Mary panel down, but I want to make sure I hide the adhesive again. So I'm just putting some glue dots in the middle and then we're going to cover it up with another little circle in that pool, beautiful pool color. So I put the uh, glue dots down on the Mary part and now I'm putting the glue dots on the inside of the card. And then I'm just going to lay that circle just on the other one so they line up perfectly and press the card down and it'll pick it up and look great. And then I'm just going to cover up that white part so everything coordinates with another little circle. So that's why we had to have four of those circles. As you can see here, I had already adhered my two pieces together before I realized that I forgot to put the frame on the back part. So I'm going to go ahead and smear my glue around again and adhere all of my little pieces together and make sure I'm hiding all of my adhesive. And now they're really going to look great together because they're both going to have that really pretty red frame around them. So now I'm ready for my adhesive on the back part. I've got my little score fold going there and I'm going to use some of this red line tape. It's super sticky tape. I love using it for this because it just won't come apart. The other thing you could do is you could staple the top parts together and then hide the staples with your red frames. So there's kind of two options depending on what adhesive you happen to have laying around. So I'm going to go ahead and line these up and what I like to do is stack them together the way you would stack a bunch of papers to make sure they line up perfectly and then I push the tops together. And now we have formed this awesome little circle card that is perfect for the holidays. I love all the shine that it has to it and how happy it is and how there's the perfect little size to write a great message on the inside. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!